Hello, this is MikeyJ101, and here's my soldering iron that I've had for like four years. The tip was got corroded in, and so um, I was drilling it out. But um, when you try to, if you if your tip, always change your tip before you think you need to, because once it's corroded in there, you're not getting it out. Um, if you do, or if it gets corroded in there and you cannot possibly get it out, um, and then if you try like taking pliers and grabbing hold of the tip and it breaks off like this, you can drill it out. But be very, 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 very careful not to um, drill into the heating element or actually hit the end. Because once you hit the end, then the drill bit gets caught on whatever is back there, the steel or whatever. And um, it basically twists this part all up inside of here. And then the wires break off. And then you're left with a big mess like this. Um, and it's actually built kind of kind of neat. Um, so basically this, the soldering tip goes in there, and there is a whole lot of heating elements actually. So there's, I already took one layer of heating element off, and this Formica sheet, or some sort of high temperature sheet. Um, so I'll probably keep that because it's kind of neat stuff. Um, so I already took one off, and I'm going to see how many more there are, but here's another winding of coil. So i got to take that one off too just see what what it looks like inside but actually in the end there I believe that's the thermal couple inside that ceramic my camera's not focusing today there we go you can see the uh, thermal couple in the end all right well that's where the um, that's what I how I ruined it so I guess the drill bit got off a little bit off center a little bit and it kind of um, drilled into the wall a little bit and then it got caught and or, well actually I started seeing some of this Formica sheet stuff coming out of the where I was drilling and I was like oh shoot I ruined it and I was like maybe I'm just drilling into too thick of a layer so I kept drilling a little bit more and um, underneath all that heating wire that's where the or and then it started turning and it pretty much twisted all the wires off and ruined everything so yeah it pretty much chewed through all the heating elements there <laughs> but um so be very careful and make sure your drill bit is going exactly straight in there or else it's going to drill right through the wall of that so yeah kind of sad about that but I mean it's only a $15 soldering iron these and they work phenomenally well so um, highly recommended if you have some copper wire like this um, you can replace the wire for practically nothing I mean this is very cheap wire well I mean it's heavy heavy gauge wire so it's fairly expensive but compared to buying tips like this it's really 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 cheap so and so if it you can make whatever tip you want you can bend it you can do whatever and you can make cheap tips so I would highly recommend one of these soldering irons because um, they have a good heat capacity of about 40 watts and because it has such a big tip like that the um, there's a lot of heat, This the heat is kind of stored in there, so it can really crank the power out when you um, want to heat something big up. So, yeah, be careful if you if your tip ever gets stuck in your soldering iron and you want to drill it out, you can, but be very, very careful. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.